Welcome to by Deirdre's PRC. I want to do this video because I, I know a lot of people out there 3D printing uh, don't know what to do with their spool. They, they did a print. Some just remove it, put it on the shelf, no bag, no nothing. Uh, physical spool itself will, I do have one on my printer here, I've got two even inside, uh, will grab moisture out of the air. In this room right now, it is like 57% humidity. I try to keep this less humid as possible, uh, but sometimes it's hard, it's hard to do, depending on temperatures outside, things like that. Um, the other thing I was using is um, a food saver. Once I'm done with my, my roll, I know I'm not gonna reuse it, uh, put it in a food saver bag, put uh, some dry, fill put dry filament, but the uh, some silica bags that I have, uh, the ones I have, they are reusable. Basically, they'll change color. Uh, they'll go like a dark color to tell you this is time to reuse, to reactivate them, should I say. Uh, you can do it in the microwave. Uh, so that one you can even do in the, the, the other ones I have can do in the oven. That one I think you can do it in the microwave, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, using go back to my main I was using basically food saver sometimes if you play with a food saver they're finicky they don't want to grab the bag correctly and take the air out some of my bags well not bag, my filaments here basically they are a food saver uh, to remove the air out of them the other thing I found now again this is not a sponsored by them if they do want to sponsor me I'm not going to complain. I would say thank you very much because I do use it. Uh, would be the eSun e vacuum kit. I got this on uh, Amazon. Um, seriously, I wasn't sure in the beginning. Tried it. Wow. Seriously, loved them. Uh, in the kit itself, comes with, uh, if I remember correctly, I think it's 10 bags, reusable bags. Stronger Ziploc bag uh, comes with a pump, USB pump. You need to supply your own power supply for it, and come with silica. With silica, re, these are not reusable. Reusu, yeah, but uh, let's restart. Wow, reusable bag. But once they're done, they're done. But never use them. You do have your pump that has a seal. Again, like I said, USB. I did supply it's a power supply for it. That's why it's in the box. And you do have the, the bags here. I'm just going to put this aside and grab one of the bags. It is a big bag. I would say this is like, wow, 15 by maybe 13, give or take. And it's double zip. You open it, put your filament in. Let's grab here. An empty roll here. It feels good to keep these rolls. Pop your roll in. Seal it. Make sure it's very sealed. And then you grab your pump. Not going to do it, but you grab your pump, plug it in. Put on top of your hole, dead center, press the button, and the pump will start pumping. And if you're looking at this video right now, you're going to say, this may not pump enough. That's where you're wrong. Put that aside. This is one I did, I would say close to three, three weeks ago, give or take. I do have my silicas in the middle and it does the same thing as my food saver machine. And this I can reuse. Now after a while, yes, this will become brittle, no good anymore, but I can reuse it. The one for the food saver, you really can't. You could if you kept like a foot in it and slowly remove, 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 remove. 
Yes, you can. But still, you're wasting material. This is, like I said, that's reusable. This is solid. And that's done with that small pump. Now, like I said, some will say you don't need to do this. Leave your roll there uh, or grab yourself basically filament box dryer that I do have here. I do have a video showing this. I have two brands. Uh, this I don't remember what brand is it. Top of my head, but I do have the Creality one too. Um, I do use them when I know my roll was out for a while or depending on the material. If it's like, like TPU, I will use it just to make sure it stays dry and it prints well. But when I'm done with my rolls, I know I'm not going to reuse the next day. They're in a bag back on the shelf with the other guys. Now, like I said, this is not a sponsored video from Eson, but I do use their product. I even even use their PLA Plus that I really like. But this is the eVacuum Kit Pro 2. You have the same kit, but with not with the pump, just the bags. Now I got this one, uh, like I said, on Amazon, uh, Canadian. I think it was $34.99. Got this one on special of $24. Uh, it does happen to go on special. But if you're looking something easy to do, not messy, you can bring pretty much anywhere. I would say grab this kit. Totally worth it. I use it. Like I said, it's been like three weeks. I did this roll here. It stays perfectly easy to remove. You just unzip it. It goes back. Put your roll back up and you're printing. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. It does help the channel. I do appreciate it a lot. And I would say thank you for watching. It's a great kit, seriously.